My name is Russell Young from Young Seeds. We farm two properties. So we're in the middle of the Darling Downs, 220 k's west of Brisbane. And yeah, we're fully cropping. We sell to an awful lot of farmers, just individual farmers. Winter crop wise is, is wheat. We've done a bit of forage barleys, forage wheats as well. Summer wise, cow peas, butterfly peas, sugar drip, uh, mainly forage things, so forage millets uh, in the past. Seeds a very difficult market to be in. You can produce a heap of it and sell none of it. You could have sold twice as much if you had it. It's a really hit and miss sort of a business to be in, but uh, you know, look, it works for us. I mean, it's value adding and that's what we've sort of always been about. So dad came from over on the coast, over around Gympie, uh, and his father was a dairy farmer over there and had a piggery and that sort of thing. Mum was here, um, so her father operated the two farms that we've got now. And I guess they were really different farmers. So the one at Gympie was more of a person who tried to do things sustainably, looked to the future, wanted to hand something onto his kids. And my other grandfather who farmed here, I'm not saying he didn't think of his family in that, but I guess what I saw in his practices was more farmer to the maximum, get out of it what you can. I guess as a kid growing up, I was aware of those two differences and that's probably why we've, and dad, obviously his influence too, has been keen to not flog everything to death, make little small improvements along the way if we could just to have something better to hand on to the next generation, I suppose, yeah. So I started the farm in 1988, and pretty much from 1991, I saw a pretty clear change in the reliability of our seasons in this area. We've kind of gone from six or seven inches to 40 inches, you know, between 2019 and 2022. So we've really had this extremes. I think we need to get better at capturing the water that falls on our place in those extreme events and that's about getting as much carbon back into our soil, getting as much organic matter back in there to try and keep our soil, you know, as friable and as, as broken up and as willing to accept the moisture as we can. The catalyst that started the whole thing off was I did a soil food web course in Lismore in 2018. And obviously, you know, you spend three days learning about biology and what it does in the soil and that. I came away from there realizing that we don't, as far, many farmers don't know too much about what we're doing in the soil. You know, we can jam stuff in there and we can get it to grow, but what are we doing down there? If we don't have fungi and bacteria in our soil, we're heading down the wrong path. So that was the catalyst for me to obviously start to look at some changes. Obviously it's nice to see roots hanging onto the soil rather than the roots coming out totally clean. It means you've got some biology happening there. So yeah, that's good to see. If using chemicals and fertilizers, it's mucking up the biology in our soil and if we're just getting to that point where we're using more and more and more of those things then we're only heading one direction as I see it so I guess I wanted to explore whether we can actually turn that around sensibly. One worm there. So that helps us know that we've got enough of the, the food web above so, so the earlier bacteria, fungi, protozoas to know that yeah, there's enough of them food wise for the earthworms to be here as well. So bring the food and they shall come. And we just want to see whether we can actually get away from that system, still maintain sensible yields and, and profitability, whether there were different markets we could get into with our seed side of it because of getting into this region side of things, whether there was enough demand for some of those products. I think all farmers need to start thinking about what they need to do differently because if input costs keep going where they're going, I think we're all in a whole world of pain, particularly at the point when commodity prices soften. I don't like using chemicals. I'm concerned about what that does through the food chain, but I'm not going to crash and burn our system or, or our profitability in the process of trying to find something new. So it's a case of go small, try it out. If our neighbour neighbourhood think we're mad, well, that's so be it. But there's more people out there have shown interest than I thought would have been in this area. So. I think there's a, a change happening. Dip your tail in the water and have a go and see where it leads to.